Welcome ladies and gentlemen and today we have a a monitor that I can't even explain how big it is. It's just ridiculous. This is the Evnir 49 inch 49 M2C 8900. And oh my God, getting this out of the box was a struggle to say the least. I had to do it on my own and then standing this thing on its own stand, the legs on this, oh my, they are some big old legs, okay? The thing on the back that you can see the big bulky thing that right there we're going to get into but it is pretty cool when it all comes together so when it does come to the unboxing you do get everything supplied for you you don't have to go out of your way and go and buy extra bits so screwdrivers and all of that stuff it's already in the box so you won't have to worry about that same with hdmi cable or display cables they are already in the box with that as well so moving on to the port to the back like i said you've got your hdmi you've got your display ports you've also got some usb-c and standard usbs in the back then so let's move on now to what the back of this thing even is why is it so bulkier because on the back here what you've got is some leds now these are the philip leds which obviously are the owners and creators of the evnia monitor the leds are these philip hue lights now if you're playing a first person shooter or a racing game whatever color you're seeing around the outside give off on the back panel now you can change this to different things so you can have it from the volume of the game you can have it from the volume or the ambient noise around the monitor you can actually have it set to a standard set color if you just wanted a nice purple for if you're live streaming on twitch then you could do that if you're live streaming on youtube you could have it as red and so forth this is a qd oled gaming monitor the funny thing is i wasn't even able to test this at its full potential now i'm running a gtx yes i know a gtx get with the times calamar <laughs> they're expensive okay and i was testing it out on this monitor and unfortunately because of the aspect ratio and the 240 hertz refresh rate my my graphics card couldn't handle it so i couldn't even test it at its best potential so obviously again i was limited to the refresh rate but not the actual screen size itself so when it comes down to playing some games i jumped in the set of course being one of the best racing games for immersion and this thing delivered okay the quality that i was seeing on the track and just in the pit was incredible there was no screen tears the color being a 10 bit which we'll get into some of the specs in a while but being a 10 bit this thing's color range is cray cray it is beautiful oh so with a set of Corsa, run absolutely fine and then we moved over to some dirt three and get some of the rally going which just made me feel like i was within the car itself and i got one of the best laps i think i've ever had playing on this monitor then i moved over to some first person shooters obviously being fortnite and again that run super super smooth now the issue came after i then went over to some csgo 2 now csgo 2 you can have an aspect ratio of certain width but unfortunately it didn't even open the game when i tried it on this 49 inch um, i have seen other people get csgo to work on it i just physically couldn't figure out how to make it load up it just kept doing a black box in the corner and then that was about it but other than gaming this thing is also a workhorse when it comes to editing there's nothing better than having such a real estate to just look for a timeline or even just have the screen there seeing what you're working on 49 inch curve just gave me like a full-on it was like being in vr okay this thing just let me thrive it let me be me i could see every single aspect every single timeline and just within one monitor so for that it definitely definitely took me by surprise because i when i see gaming monitors i don't expect them to be the best for rendering and all of that jazz but this thing still delivered even in the work state so i am very very impressed with that so anyway let's jump over to some specs of what this is basically offering so like i said this is a qd oled screen with 10 bit color depth at a 240 hertz refresh rate with the futuristic design and it also has the planet in mind with being a 35 percent recycled plastic all over now another cool feature this monitor displays is the amd freesync premium pro it just gives you that super super smooth low latency hdr gaming so you've got no flicker you've got crisp colors accurate colors shadows lighting and everything on there it just looks so so damn good then you're obviously certified with nvidia's g-sync compatible for again more fast and smooth gameplay if you're on nvidia but as i mentioned before as well it being a workhorse you can use this in the office if you really must this does mean that it supplies a low blue mode and flicker free for easy on the eyes viewing so if you are in the office all day and you're looking at this monitor 
you don't need to worry about after a while your eyes starting to sort of strain now when it comes to the game inside again we do get some presets for gamer one and gamer two which actually enhances the different color ranges the different palettes if you will for fps racing and rts which is real-time strategy things like that it's just got within this monitor there's so much that you can utilize for your best performance in each different game and again obviously with the 10-bit color being on top of that with also a display hdr true black 400 that delivers shadow details and just crisp quality all over i mean there's not really much this thing can't do it's even visa certified clear mr for accurate blur testing like it's been cleared on so much from gaming color accuracy even sound is dts sound with 30 watt output for enhanced audios i mean you've got everything you need if you really don't like using headphones or you won't want speakers the the monitor does everything for you and it really bugs me that i can't test it at its full potential or even have it on the desk long enough because it's it's too big for me unfortunately you know this thing definitely packs a punch and i can understand why the price is at what it is okay, this isn't your standard everyday monitor that someone you know can just go and pick up and happily spend nearly two thousand pound on a monitor if you're really going to town on your setup or, or even if you've got a racing sim you're making a rig this monitor would be perfect for that this is one of the top end monitors for something around that size around that style you know a racing sim would be perfect for this just be wary if you do go for a 49 inch or say like an odyssey arc something like that it's it's a big old boy okay it is a big old boy i must admit i loved using it but there was times if i was emailing someone on the very left is the email and i'm having to scroll all the way to the right and just turn my head and everything uh, it took that immersion away from me it made it more of like a chore to drag my mouse the whole way across the screen obviously i couldn't test certain features like the lighting elements the brightness knitting like i did on the previous aoc monitor because unfortunately i couldn't get it to the best specs because i don't want to again jeopardize the the facts of what this monitor is putting out when i can't test it at its full potential I just want to give my overall opinion and say this thing is a goddamn beast when it comes to monitors. But for me, it's just too big and I couldn't get on with it. But again, it's a huge pleasure to have Philip sending out their Evnia monitor to test out and give it a go. So a huge thank you to them over there. And a massive thank you to you guys for watching this video, even though my face hasn't been in it. I hope you enjoyed this style. If you did, leave a like, hit subscribe and the notification bell because it really does help the channel grow. And other than that, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.